All right. I think I got a nice special delivery today. Got another Back to the Future Time Machine Part 2 from Hot Toys. I'm going to do a little unboxing here. Um, I did one video on it, and um, this is the second car I purchased. So I can go ahead and uh, keep one and sell the other down the road. And hopefully this one's not damaged. We're going to go ahead and do a little review over something special here in a second. Responsibility for the alleged theft. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I decided to uh, purchase a second uh, car from the Hot Toys Back to the Future 2 uh, time machine. And um, this is one that I'll hold on to a while and and um, they'll, they'll, these things will appreciate in value so I don't mind. Um, but I have been hearing that uh, a lot of these are coming damaged or with uh, stress fractures of some kind so what we're gonna do is we're gonna unbox this and uh, see what hopefully it's all in good shape all right here we go go ahead and I'll pick the camera up as soon as I get some of this un opened up here it's kinda hard to do it when you're Trying to cut and open a box. And I figured this is a cool thing to do right on top of a time machine that I built. Which I'm working on a video doing a review of the uh, car at Universal Studios Florida, Orlando. And compare it to my car and, you know, in terms of how good of a job they did. And condition and all that good stuff. This is my car. Some of the details here. But we'll do that in another video here. So when you open the box you got another piece of protective uh, cardboard. We'll put that over here. There still is a little hologram. She is. Let me put this back down. Pull this out. I'm glad they put these straps so you can just kind of lift the whole thing out like that. Because we'll be putting it right back in the box after we look at this. straps those are freaking strong and I'll pick up the camera again here so you guys can get the point of view here Just a nice decorative picture for your box. Put that up here. This really is a nice picture. You frame that. Take that to uh, some of the cast members and have them sign it. That'd be cool. Or just take them the whole car. Yeah. Alright, so. We have all our bits and pieces, the flux bands. Make sure everything looks good and in one piece, no breakage. And we got the clock, we got Mr. Fusion. They all look good. So this is not going to be a full unboxing, I guess you could call it more of an inspection. It's just an inspection video here. Try to make sure nothing's broken. So if there is, I could let them know. 
This all looks good. No breaks. I mean, they got the details pretty good here. Let's take a look. These are the flux, front flux bands here on, on the model. And there they are in the real life. And this car, my car, was, these are direct castings from the movie, car from the movie. Um, I acquired them through a um, avid builder who was able to get direct molds uh, many years ago, actually, before the, uh, before the uh, car was restored in the uh, late 2000s, I think. 2012, I think the car was restored. The A car. So that's that layer. We'll lift that up, and there's our car. So. Now, to do a real inspection, I'm going to have to take this bag off and uh, make sure the car is not cracked or broken anywhere. Especially the tires and wheels. I guess that's one of the things that these cars have been uh, having problems with in terms of uh, damage. So I'm going to have to put the camera back down here. Uh, let's see. I think you guys can see. And then uh, some tape here. Oh. Out, just like that. Push that over there. Let's see. Roll this thing up. And we roll it right out of the bag. Ha! Huh? Look at that. She's rolling right out of the bag. She's roll it right back in. Ah. So, all right, let's see what we see here. Car looks good. A little alignment issue there on the the panel, but it's not a big deal. So, let's see. I probably should have a flashlight because I can't really I know the camera's probably having a hard time picking up the details here. <clears throat> All right. Gotta say, this car's looking good. It doesn't look like it has any issues, any damage. Any fractures? I'm gonna flip it upside down on the on the uh, phone here, <clears throat> so we can flip out the wheels because that's where they have some of their problems. Let's do it like so.
this is really cool. All this lights up, um, which is in my other video. Now these, I believe, you pull. Oh boy. Once again, hard to do one-handed here. But I'm going to pull them out, <clears throat> check them all. Oh no, this one does have a fracture. you guys in a second that one does have a fracture in the uh, plastic I'm just not sure if it's something that they'll care to You know, for nearly a little over nine hundred dollars with shipping, you know, you want to make sure the stuff is done right, and you don't have any problems. Uh, collectors are very finicky about damage, and why wouldn't you be? I mean, if you're uh, collecting for value, you don't want damaged items. So let me see. Let me flip it back over. <clears throat> the bottom of the wheels, or the, I should say the wheels themselves, look fine. There's no damage, but this one acrylic looks like it has a little fracture. with a camera on the light. You guys see that little that little line there? That is a little bit of a stress fracture. I'm not really sure if it's that detrimental to you know the item. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm gonna complain about it. Um, I might just send them a picture and say hey you know this is this is broken maybe they can send me a a new part for that and it looks like it almost looks like there's one there too but I don't think I don't think it's all I don't think it's I mean I don't feel a, a line all these look good All this looks good. Open it. Put a couple batteries in there. This is your light button. You could also have a USB cable. Plug it in. Full time power. Yeah, the car looks good though. Alright, so that's it. Basically, that's uh, 
a little quick once over making sure we don't have any real bad damage or scratches or fractures and it looks pretty good so I'm, I'm happy with it this little uh, this little fracture I don't know yeah it's a pain in the ass and it sucks but you know that's something you, you know you don't even see that the cards on display up high and it has that uh, that stand so if you guys are thinking about buying one of these they do have them on the Hot Toys website still until they sell out. Um, you know, once these things sell out, who knows if they're gonna maybe they'll maybe they'll make a part three car. So we'll see. That'd be kinda cool, right? What better way to review a a toy is with the movie playing? and having a real replica that's awesome I love it this is a labor of love and uh, this is a this is proof that uh, if you work hard and you really want something in life you just gotta go for it man it, it it pays off to work hard and and know that you can have it you just have to know that you can have it and uh, it'll happen things unravel for you just stay positive out there well, I'm going to do that other review video on my car versus the car at Universal Orlando, and um, hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, please like and subscribe. I am trying to slowly grow this channel, uh, but, you know, work gets in the way, and it's hard to do that. Um, pick up a camera and spend time doing little review videos. So, um, but I am trying. Um, this is the plutonium chamber for the second car I am building which I would like to do uh, some videos on that I got parts sprawled everywhere for this car um, doing some uh, roof box damage repair um, in general the roof box is okay it just has a uh, quite a bit of rust so I'm going to cut that out and weld some new metal and put our doors back on I'm sick of walking around these damn things. Anyway, all right, thank you so much, and uh, hope to see you guys soon.